So I was wondering, a small cryptocurrency miner like myself, would it be worth it to actually go and solo mine Ethereum for the last few months that it has to, to mine, or maybe it gets pushed back, it probably will, but we don't know. But anyway, I wanna know, would it be worth it to me to solo mine Ethereum and try and get a block before Ethereum goes proof of stake? Let's find out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the same math that I used to find a Ravencoin block in the odds of finding a Ravencoin block video. So here I have 200 mega hash here. This is my Hive OS. I've been learning how to use Hive OS now. This is very, uh, very cool for me. But anyway, this is, uh, this is at 200 mega hash and the total Ethereum ha hash rate is one petahash. Now a petahash is a thousand terahash and one terahash is 1,000 giga hash, and one giga hash is 1,000 mega hash. I'm one fifth of a giga hash, so let's get the calculator out. So one peta hash, so one zero 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 giga hash, tera hash, peta hash. Let's take that and divide it by 200, which is how many mega hash I have, and that equals five million. Now Ethereum has a block mine once every 15 seconds, and well, let's look up how many seconds are in a day. Because I don't remember off the top of my head. 86,400. 86,400 divided by 15. Divided by 15 is 5,760. So let's take 5 million and divide it by 5,760. And that's how many opportunities we have per day to mine a block. And that equals... 868.55 let's just call it 806 let's just call it 870 so every day i have a 1 in 870 chance to mine a block so supposedly we can mine ethereum for another four months although like i said earlier that transition to proof of stake probably will be put on pause although we just don't know let's just say it happens in july which is about four months from the making of this video and four months is 124 days. So divided by 124 equals a one in seven chance of hitting a block within that time. So let's let's look at this. 870 days to mine. What is roughly how much is it, is Ethereum at? Let's just say five thousand dollars if you mine that block because you, you get rewarded to Ethereum. How much can you mine in 870 days? with a pool. So the website's designed deciding to be weird. It varies, but roughly I make about eight to twelve dollars a day. It just depends on when I refresh the page. But when I refresh the page right now it's 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 acting weird. Anyway. So let's take the worst case scenario. Eight dollars a day. Eight times eight hundred and seventy is is almost seven thousand dollars. And if you know if it it's more like nine dollars a day, that's almost eight thousand dollars. So in the term of odds, no, it's not worth it. But if you want to roll the dice, you I mean that's that's up to you. I'm just gonna stay uh, where I am mining Ethereum and getting paid out in Bitcoin. If you wanna learn how to do that with the two miners pool, I'll, I'll put a link in the description for that video. So I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing right now because the odds are not with you in this. I know some of you will say, never tell me the odds, but in this case, I'm just gonna, st I'm just gonna stick with what, I, what I'm doing right now. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you're gonna be solo mining Ethereum, let me know. I'm very interested in if you think it's worth it to do that. Uh, you can just follow the same math I did here in this video. Yeah, that's it. Please like if you like the video and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers. That is, that, that, that's, a, I mean, I've only been doing this for like three, four months and that's just, that's insane for, for the amount of time I've been doing this. That's crazy. Thanks for watching. Bye.